button can be added on the screen to realize touch key function. When touch the button picture, user can execute a series action such as show pictures, play music, play video or hide pictures, stop music or video. Now I'll give a example to explain how to use button command. Let me create a new project, I set resolution as 800 by 480. Then click create a button object button, click and drag into the screen to generate a green line frame. Select a picture in the explorer as a button picture. Now we need to adjust the size and position of the picture. Here is a tip, remember your picture's resolution and copy it into the size input area. My button picture's resolution is 167 by 48 pixels. Now I will add more button pictures. Buttons with the same text are stacked together. Realized by adjusting the value of x-axis and y-axis value. Keep all pictures on the same horizontal line by adjusting x-axis value to realize. The operation box is in the bottom of the screen, and it will only be available when the button picture is selected. Each command has two grids, I will call it a group in my later explanation. Utmost eight commands can be executed for one button. 
Click the command inputs area of the first group, a pull-down list pops up. You can find all the 8 button pictures we already added in this list. Each picture has two commands. One is a O command in orange color means display picture. The another is a 1 command means hide the picture. 0 to 1, 0 to 2, 0 to 3 is the picture serial number that is the same with ones in left layer management window. Let me explain how to achieve some special effects by setting the display or non-display of the button picture. First select the gray previous button numbered 0 to 2, add commands for this button in the operation box. In the pop-up menu, first select the button picture numbered 0 to 1, so that as long as the user clicks the gray previous button, the button picture will change to the green previous button. Meanwhile, the other three buttons, play, stop, and, next, must be gray, so we add their corresponding numbers 0 to 4, 0 to 6, and 0 to 8 to the command list. Don't forget to click tick button for saving. Using the same logic, we add commands to the 0 to 1 green previous button. First select the green previous button numbered 0 to 1, and add commands for this button in the operation box. If the layer is covered, select the layer to view the corresponding picture in the thumbnail of the window on the right. In the pop-up menu, first select the button picture numbered 0 to 2, so that as long as the user clicks the green previous button, the button picture will change to the gray previous button. Meanwhile, the other three buttons, play, stop, and, next, must be gray too, so we add their corresponding numbers 0 to 4, 0 to 6, and 0 to 8 to the command list. The remaining three buttons also use the same method to set commands. I won't explain this one by one. Finally, we need to add four gray button pictures to the option box of the main layer, so that the four gray button pictures and their related commands will be automatically loaded when the display is started. You could also understand it as boot picture that is pre-executed during boot time without receiving commands from the host computer. Click build all button to compile after completion and generate bin file. Run UI emulator, import the bin file just generated, here you can verify whether the compiled file can run normally. After confirming that it is correct, you can continue to add other pages and commands.
Finally, burn the bin file to East Rising UART TFT display module for final debugging.